how to use a diffuser. If you have an open concept kitchen or pets or children or you cook a lot, you're going to absolutely love this item. It's so simple to use. I'll let you see how in just a moment. <music> This is a very simple diffuser. Um, I got it at Walmart. It's not super pricey. It was my very first diffuser and it's worked so well. Um, I just haven't found any reason to get anything that was different. And the nice thing is that you get to select the scent that you want. When you go over to the diffuser aisle, you're going to see lots of, uh, usually it's in the aisle where they have the lemon scents or they have different types of um, these scents that come in just these little bottles, just like that and you can select the scent that you actually like. They have cinnamon, they have lemon, they have eucalyptus, they have quite a few. What I have found that has personally worked for me that gets eliminates odors like cooking odors out of the kitchen is lemon. That's the one that's worked for me. Now during the holidays I may try something like a cinnamon spice just to add kind of an atmospheric change. But for me, lemon has worked really well on a day-to-day -day basis and it's so simple to use, you're gonna wonder why you didn't do it sooner. Okay, let's get into the actual diffuser. The actual diffuser comes in two parts. It looks like one unit, just like this, but it actually comes in two parts. Um, my advice to you is usually it comes with the cord, separate, and underneath the diffuser, just at the bottom, I can't flip it over because I've already got some uh, liquid in it, it attaches underneath. And my advice is attach that cord, um, you know, when you are ready to use your diffuser. It makes it a lot easier to move it around. And what I did was, what you do is you just lift the top off. And this one happens to be glass, so just a little bit careful with it. And inside, you're going to see this little housing. And it has a level for the liquid. Be very mindful of this particular level when it says, don't go over that line. Um, just stay within those marks and you're going to be just fine. The lid comes off pretty easily, just like that. And inside, as you can see, I already have some water in there. And when you fill it to its actual fill line or just a tiny bit beneath, what I do is I take about five or six drops of my lemon oil, drip it straight into the actual diffuser, and which is really, really simple. It actually drips out just like a, kind of like a drip bottle. See, you can just give it a shake, a couple of drops. You'll actually figure out how many drops work for you as you use your lemon oil. Sometimes you may want it a little bit stronger. Sometimes you may want it a little bit lighter. The nice thing is that with your scent, you can actually gauge how strong you want your scent to come through. Now, you take the top, just stick it back on. It lines up a certain way, so there's only one way that it goes on. And with this particular diffuser, you just put it back on. I make sure that that top little nozzle thing is lined up within the hole. And I give it a press. And what I like about this one is that it actually lights up. And it changes colors, as you can see. The colors actually change, and you can press the button again and lock it on a color that you really like. And this just happens to be a color that I really like, so haha. <laughs> I locked it on that. Um, advice, if it's tipped or bumped, it will automatically shut itself off. So that's the really nice thing also if you have kids that may run around. My advice is that you put it on right after you have finished cooking. Um, it doesn't hurt if you put it on during cooking, if you know you're cooking with some strong spices or if you just don't want the smell to actually get through the entire house. But I've only really found the need to put it on after I've cooked. Because while I'm cooking, I tend to, I, I like to know what's going on in the pot and, and you can smell things a lot better and it's just one less thing going on in the air. And my real goal is to clean the air in the kitchen, in the open area, and leave it clean all through the night and then the entire house does not smell like food. I was absolutely shocked. I have made fish and put this on afterwards. I have cooked... Um, things with strong spices and put this on afterwards. I just let it run for maybe a half an hour, sometimes a little bit longer if I feel the need. 
and then I kid you not, you will smell absolutely nothing. The house, the air will smell clean. I've actually tested it out and, and just left the house and walked back in the door to see if I smelled anything and you could not even tell that I was cooking. So that makes a huge, huge, huge difference. Now I click the button for the light and I click the first button, which is that one. And that starts the actual steam for the diffuser. And it just does this for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. And in your mind, you're thinking, okay, well, how is that going to work? But I can tell you just standing here, I can smell the lemon already that's coming through and I just let it go. And it just goes and <laughs> it's kind of those set it and forget it kind of a thing. And you know, if you just want to push it through the house, I have a little ceiling fan that I have and sometimes I'll put that on, but you really don't even need to. It will do exactly what it's supposed to do. It will eliminate the odors from the house. Leave your kitchen and your open concept area smelling really fresh as if you didn't even cook. I think it's a great idea to put this on if you know you're going to have company and you just want them to walk in and just kind of have that fresh scent or whatever kind of a scent that you want to have in there. If it's the holidays, you may want to put something in that's a little bit cinnamony and spice-ish. That's fine, but put it on. It's a great atmospheric thing. And then on top of that, because this one just kind of changes colors, it's just kind of fun to just see it just sit there and just go. It'll just change colors over and over again. And it's really cool. It was maybe about $30 in Walmart, uh, 28, I think 30 after tax. It was very inexpensive, but it works really well. That's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box. I'll try to get back to everyone as quickly as possible. But thank you again for joining me. Remember, God bless you. He loves an orderly house. And I pray that everything within your home is just going wonderful for you.